The insulation is barely up in Trina Enza's home, but she's already wondering if there's any point. Because you don't want to put new stuff in if you think it's going to flood again. She was rescued back in November when nearly half a meter of water swallowed her Sumas Prairie trailer home. She's moved six times since while repairs are underway. Now, news of another atmospheric river. Oh no, not again. <laughs> And like, will this be the future? What will happen in the spring? Is this what we're going to go through all the time? The good news is forecasters say this round of wet weather will be different. We're not expecting quite as much rain for places like the Fraser Valley with this system. The heaviest rainfall amounts will be kind of on the North Shore. Around 150 millimeters of rain is expected over two days on the North Shore of Coquitlam Maple Ridge, with river levels peaking on Thursday. Depending on how and when that rain falls, it could lead to minor or significant flooding. But the piles of snow on the ground are another risk factor. We are expecting that snow to melt. There's quite a lot more of that snow available. Um, but it's a bit of a double-edged sword up higher. We've got that, that increased amount of snow could actually be able to absorb some of the rainfall. Even in areas like Merritt, where there is no weather advisory or warning, many are still feeling uneasy after already being hit by the historic floods. The city tweeting, it understands the stress this weather may cause. And in Princeton, the mayor says he is paying close attention to this latest forecast. Any rainfall at this time of year um, can cause quite a bit of a uh, headache. And with everything that we've already been going through and, and that, it's just, you know, it's adding insult to injury. Officials in both those towns and across the Fraser Valley say repairs from the last flood are complete. Dikes are in place, but they are watching river levels closely. If you're in an urban area and you want to help prevent localized flooding, then grab your shovel and help clear out that snow and ice from your storm drains and pack an emergency kit just in case. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.